It's Epsilon Emerald. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna do episode 5 of the Pokemon Yellow Nuzlocke. So, where did we leave off? I believe we were about to enter Route 3. And Route 3 has a load of trainers and the opportunity for a new team member. So, let's just see who we've got. Okay. I think we can take on some trainers. Let's go. You looked at me, didn't you? Is this a lass? Yeah. <laughs> she doesn't like being looked at. Which is absolutely fair enough. Although, you know, I'm just a ten-year-old kid. Hmm. Pretty evenly matched. They're faster than me, though. Hmm. It's about the same, I think. About the same. Hmm. Oh, lovely. That dog is back. Actually, I think last time when I said that, you couldn't even hear the dog in the video in the end. Right, I'm gonna have to switch Pokemon. Okay, well this is the obvious choice. Let's go for it. I hate you. I really need to level up my metapod. Let's, um, let's send it out. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to switch it immediately, because we don't want metapod to retire before it's time. feel like a critical hit could finish me off. Don't worry about it. We got it. Come on. Oh, I really wanted to level up. I'm going to have to heal already. <laughs> Sorry about that. Maybe it would be more um, interesting if I just used potions and stuff to speed it up, but I'm sorry. I just... Where am I? <laughs> I'm so stupid. Here we go. Sorry, I'm not talking. Come on, I should uh, be more entertaining for you. Okay, so... Um, well, today I went to university to talk to my master's teacher because I've got an essay, a very big essay due in at the end of the month. No, not the end of July, end of August. Well, by the time I post this, it probably is August, actually. My essay is about... You know what? That's not interesting. <laughs> I'm trying to make this more interesting, but talking about um, education and uh, politics and socioeconomic disadvantage is probably not that interesting to you. So, I won't. Um, I went to a pre-release the other day, but 
but of course you will have seen that video. Um, but yeah, it was it was pretty fun. Um, nice set of people, some really friendly people. I might go back next week for Pokemon League, which I never go to because I don't like playing competitively, but. The people were nice, so kind of tempted. Let's keep switching. The problem is, well, I don't, uh, I don't know if you would think this is a problem, but for me, oops. The problem is that these places, um, they're just generally all men, and. I don't, I don't always feel comfortable just being in a group of men and I'm the only girl but oh well I'm not saying that these guys can't be trusted or anything but just I think it's a general good rule of life to not be the only female in a big group of men. I think that's just generally good advice. But yeah, I think I'll, um, I'll go on Wednesday and do a bit of casual playing. I'm not, not going to be super competitive about it, but you know, I'll take my Garchomp deck. don't really have anything interesting coming up to talk about. Ooh, this cat is about to kill me. Yes. <laughs> I'm just, um, yeah, I'm really enjoying making videos, actually. Happy to spend my summer holiday just making Nuzlocke videos. It's a lot of fun. And, um, people seem to be liking them, so thank you the feedback. I could just use a potion. I'll be, I'm sorry, I'm too frugal. I can't do it. I can't use a potion when I know that the Pokemon Center is so close. I'm sorry if it makes the video more boring, but it's just how I've been raised, you know? It'd be wasteful to use a potion. My family was the kind of family, um, where if you were out, like say we went to town, like just the town centre, like walking around, whatever, um, we would never get food whilst we were out, or even get a drink whilst we were out. It was, it was just a given that you wouldn't do that because it's a waste of money. Like if you knew you were going to go out all day and you were going to be hungry, then you would bring a packed lunch with you. And if you got caught out and you didn't realise you were going to be out for that long and then you got hungry and then you would just go hungry like that was what my family did and I think that's uh, <laughs> this guy I like shorts, they're comfy and easy to wear legend absolute legend do you like shorts? let me know in the comments below This youngster has a rat tongue. I don't know if he's related to you. Youngster Joey. By the way, did you know that Youngster Joey's actually subscribed to my channel? Did you know that? Shout out to Youngster Joey. Metapod evolves at level 10, so we still got one more level to go. Ekans, interesting. These um, trainers, 
their levels are pretty high actually. Usually when I play Pokemon I'm always quite a few levels above the trainers in my area. But um, not in this game I guess because I've been deliberately not grinding. Okay, now you have to remember that you take poison damage with every step and you can faint from poison damage. You can't anymore, but in the old games like this one, you could faint from poison damage in the field. That's actually, um, I remember very clearly, I'm gonna heal up with an antidote because I'm scared. I only have one though. I remember very clearly, um, I was about 11, 10, 11. I was at my theatre school. It was during the break in between dance lessons. And my friend was playing Pokemon. Um, I don't know if it was red, blue, or yellow, but it was one of those. And he had just exited Mount Moon. So he was on the, like, other side of Route 3. Actually, I think that's Route 4. I don't think Route 3 continues. I think it's Route 4. And, um, so he just, he exited Mount Moon. And he saved. Because that's what you do when you successfully exit a cave. You save. Because you're just, like, happy that you got out. And his Pokemon were pretty weak. In fact, only one of them was still alive. The rest had fainted. And that one that was alive was poisoned. Let me go buy some more antidotes. And, um, well, what do you think happened? <laughs> he got to the end of the route. He was, like, ten steps away from a Pokemon Center. And his last Pokemon fainted. And, um, when that happens, when all of your Pokemon have fainted, it takes you back to the last Pokemon Center that you healed at. Or, yeah, I think that's how they do it. Or it just takes you back to the last town you were in. Anyway, I don't know. So it took him back to Pewter City. And he was like, oh my gosh, I have to do the whole of Mount Moon again. <laughs> that is so annoying. But he'd saved once he'd exited Mount Moon, so he just reset the game. And was like, okay, okay, I'll, I'll make sure that doesn't happen this time. But there was literally nothing he could do. Because he didn't have any potions or antidotes or anything on him. So yeah, he was stuck. But he kept trying. Like he tried to walk more like conservatively, you know, like walk a more direct route because it poison damage is done on steps. I just remember that really clearly. It was it was really interesting to me. Oh, let me tell you something else funny about poison damage. So a completely different friend. Again, when we were about 10, 11. Um, she was like my best friend at the time. And I went to her house and um, she was playing Pokemon Red. And... Uh, by the way, she was one of those noobs who uh, let, let her Charizard get to like level 60 and all the rest of her Pokemon on level 10. But, you know. I was, even back then, as a 10 year old, I was very snobby about Pokemon. <laughs> it's like, because like I was a real Pokemon master, age 10. Like, I was really into it. Uh, but everyone else was just like, oh, they're, they only like it because it's like popular. 
Yeah. I was quite snobby about it. Anyway, um, she was playing Pokemon Red and um, she was actually further than me in the game because although I loved Pokemon and I loved learning about Pokemon, I never really got that far with it. Because I always used to like get to a certain point and then just want to reset and start again. That was in my side game. In my main game, I never reset it, but I never made it past Seafoam Island. No, that's not true. I made it to cinema. No, did I? I definitely... I definitely made it to cinema. But I don't think I ever made it past cinema. Um, but anyway, back to this story about poison damage. So my friend Hannah, she was just playing Pokemon, and um, after like a little bit of time, I just see her like banging her Game Boy at the side of it, like like, like come on, come on, come on, like this. And I'm like, but she was doing it quite hard. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? And she was like, oh, my game's just like being funny again. But again, it sometimes happens. Like it just has this weird glitch. And I'm like, what do you mean? What's going on? And she showed me. She was like, you know, the screen keeps flashing. It's like, I think there's dust in my cartridge or something. I'm like, I'm like, dude, like, that's not a glitch. That's because your Pokemon is poisoned. <laughs> and you're walking, like, you're going to take poison damage. She had no idea. I was like, go heal it. Your Pokemon's going to die. Wouldn't you have got confused if a Pokemon did just faint and like the pop up like just came up like Charizard has fainted? Wouldn't you just be like really confused? <laughs> Cause I wait, does it even mention poison? Does it say Charizard fainted due to poison? Or does it just say Charizard fainted? I think it just says Charizard fainted. Keep switching, so I gotta get that sweet, sweet experience points. So I think in this video, hmm, we'll just have to do all the trainers on this route and catch a Pokemon, and I think that's all we'll have time for. And then. Maybe I'll do some grinding before we do Mount Moon because Mount Moon <laughs> there's so many random encounters that oh yes level 10 you could I could end up having to like come out and heal quite a lot and I think you guys would find that really annoying Maybe I'll just pop into Mount Moon and catch a Pokemon at the end of this video. Or does that kind of does that ruin it a little bit? I don't know. You know what's quite fun though? Do you know who you meet at Mount Moon? Clefairy. Do you know what move Clefairy has that can make Nuzlocke's quite scary? And I learned confusion. 
and then what's really good is that Butterfree learns moves really quickly. So I'm gonna learn Poison Powder, Sleep Powder and Stun Spore really quickly soon. You know what? I'm keeping Butterfree out front because I like Butterfree. There's so many trainers on this route, oh my gosh. Which one should we do? Should I jump down and do that one? Okay, let's do this one first. That look you gave me, it's so intriguing. I didn't even look at you. Don't you think this game is slightly sexist? The way the girls are portrayed in this? I mean, and, I mean, what is a lass? The word lass, it just means girl. Whereas the boys, at least they have, like, other features about them. Like the, the fact that they're young, or the fact that they catch bugs, or the fact that they're hikers. Whereas the women are just lass. It's kind of like um, Smurfette Syndrome, if you've heard of that. The idea that um, being female is a characteristic in itself, whereas being male isn't. Need around. It's always fun. Does it resist it? I know Bug is super effective against Psychic. Oh, let's just do it anyway. Yeah, it doesn't resist it. It's just that Bug is super effective against Psychic. Do you know the easy way to remember what's super effective against Psychic? It's really clever. Psychic type is like mental. Like, it's to do with your brain, yeah, psychic, mental powers kind of thing. Um, so basically, anything that is, like, generally a phobia is what's super effective against psychic, because phobias are, like, things that affect our brains. So, although, like, rocks being thrown at us do hurt us, we're not really, like, scared of it. We don't have a phobia of that. Most people don't. Okay, so things that we are generally scared of as human beings. Um, the dark. Yeah, so dark is super effective against psychic. Uh, bugs. I'm scared of bugs. <laughs> I'm scared of spiders anyway. Luckily my cat actually likes to catch and eat spiders. Which I'm very happy about. Um, and what else are we scared of? Ghosts. Yeah, so ghost is super effective against psychic. Although in um, Pokemon Yellow, I believe ghost is not super effective against psychic. It's supposed to be, but it's not. It was a mistake. She 
Should we catch our first Pokemon? Well, not our first Pokemon, but our only Pokemon of this route. Let's go. Now, obviously, you know which Pokemon I'm really hoping for. Well, um, sorry, you would only know that if you, <laughs> if you happen to have memorised the Pokemon that are available on Route 3. I'm sure some of you know, because if you've played this game as many times as me, you memorise which Pokemon are in which route. But, uh, let's see what we've got. I tell you what, I'll show you what Pokemon are available. Um, sorry about the cat there. Okay, so where's Route 3? So I've got quite a good, got quite a few opportunities to catch it. In that case, oh, Sand Shrew! I love. I always used Sand Slash in my throughs. Always. I love Sand Slash. It's really good against Lieutenant Surge because you can use the TM for Dig on it. Oh, I really want Sand Shrew. The other option is Spearow. I don't want Spearow. I really want to sound true. Okay, let's see. Sound true, sound true, sound true, sound true, sound true, sound true. Yes, yes. We got sound true. Okay. Like throw pokeballs at it. Cause it's down to half. It's not bad. Yes, I got it. Sandshu was caught. Yay! Sandshu mouse. Height two feet. Weight twenty six pounds. Its body is dry. When it gets cold at night. Hide is said to become coated with a fine dew. Interesting. Do you want to give a nickname to Sanchu? Yes. Let's look at my list. Hmm. Oh, that would be cute. Okay. There's loads of options here, but I'm going to go with just because it's the cutest one. The nickname from Danny Cruz. Which is Peanut. Isn't that really cute? That's really cute. Yay, I'm glad we got Peanut. I mean, <laughs> I'm glad we got Sanchu. Wow, we've been playing for two hours, 47 minutes. Amazing. Okay, let's backtrack because we've got more trainers to fight. Um, let's actually put Peanut at the front so we can level it up a bit. Let's fight this guy. <laughs> hey, you're not wearing shorts. What kind of comment is that?
Am I really not wearing shorts? I feel like the character does wear shorts. Um, actually, no. Now that I think about it, he's wearing jeans. Hmm. The other thing, I'm um, sorry to be, you know, feminist ranter, but uh, it does somewhat bother me that the female player characters of Pokemon are often quite scantily clad. And they're supposed to be ten years old, so it's a bit... Hmm. Fight this person. Yeah, I must have done. Okay, let's uh, let's go heal. Since I just realised there's a Pokemon Center. Yeah, am I poisoned? I thought the screen just blinked. Maybe it was just because uh, the changing colour. Let's go heal. And then. Yeah, I remember there's actually a Pokemon Center outside Mount Moon, isn't there? But I will. I think I may as well leave this episode here. Do a little bit of grinding, and then I will see you in part 6, where we will be doing the whole of Mount Moon. Um, which I'm actually terrified about, because... I don't do well with caves, even though it's a video game, I still get quite, um, claustrophobic. I know this is so silly, um, but I have a map, so I'll be okay. As long as I can keep track of where I am on the map, I will be fine. But it does, it gives me a little bit of anxiety just being inside a fake Pokemon cave. I know that's so stupid, but, but I'm, I'm gonna try. We're gonna do it together. Yeah, I'll see you in part five for Mount Moon. Um, if you've got any more nickname suggestions, keep them coming. Don't worry if you've already put a suggestion, it is on my list. I'm not going to show you the list, but it's there. And um, I will name Pokemon after you when I catch them, <laughs> so don't worry. And um, also in the comments, let me know if you've got any suggestions of things that would make this series more fun. Uh, other than that, um, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!